How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome back to the 100 day drawing challenge. We're back at it again with the cylinders, unfortunately, for another day in a row. I know, very painful, but I really want to get this down uh, before I move on because I realized <coughs> I was, uh, as I was editing the one that's already up, like day 9, day 9 it would have been, all the mistakes I did. This is already going to be a huge improvement. So let's try it. I'm going to start with a pretty difficult one already. It's going to be a foreshortening one. Bad boy. Uh, since I've already explained it, I don't really have to do it with all of you. So I can just kind of speed run today and just focus on just doing it. So you know what? Let's just get started. Uh, the only thing to note is I've changed the pen sensitivity. So it's a bit more bolder more thicker because last time my lines were the reason why my lines are scratchy is because they were so thin uh but when they're thick it's a lot easier to make out the silhouette of a lot of things so that's what i'm gonna do okay let's just try
Okay, and we are done. Pretty much, more or less, we are done. So, this one was a tricky pose, but I actually felt like I nailed that pretty damn well. I can't lie. I wasn't expecting to do it this well, but you know what? I'll friggin' take it, man. Look at that. It makes sense in perspective, too. I'm so happy with this one. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you guys group by group kind of what we did. So, I feel like this one is I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of this one i feel like the only thing missing is like the hips maybe widen the hips a little bit because it's it's they get pretty big there <laughs> i've noticed that now with a lot of women their hips are like crazy big compared to their rib cage look how small the rib cage is here it's crazy it's actually insane compared to dudes because dudes chests are like massive right so i need to get used to doing the opposite of what how, how to draw guys okay so this one was really good i like i like that one this one um this one was really good after i tweaked it because it took some tweaking to get to look right it's uh, something tells me it still doesn't look too right especially in this hip area where the chest i feel like the chest is just messed up chest is a lot smaller it'd be like there and then it makes sense but yeah this one was tricky to break down uh for sure for sure so if i like went over this i'd be able to tell a little bit easier but i kind of want to avoid doing that oops drop my pen okay so next the guitar one i feel like i got pretty well as well i was pretty happy with that although the foreshortening was a bit awkward because there was a lot of foreshortening happening here. As you can see, some of these I even left the line. This one was the hardest one. I'm just going to say it. I don't know if I got it right. Uh, but I think the next time, for example, when I edit the video, I'll be able to tell what mistakes I've made. Uh, just like with the last one, we can learn a lot. We can learn very damn quickly here. Just by looking at our mistakes. This one looked the most boring. I don't think I got the legs right. Because if the leg is here, that means the hips are way bigger. Or well, they technically should be way bigger. In that sense. But yeah, that was this was tough to get right. To get to looking good with cylinders. This one I frigging nailed. I don't know how... This pose looked crazy when I was looking at it on interest. I was like, Pinterest, not interest. I keep saying interest. But yeah, nah, this pose looked crazy on, on Pinterest. And I was like, nah, no way. I'm nailing this. But I, I am. I am. How? I have no clue, but I am. Um. So yeah, it's that. This one was also one of the hardest ones. Again, because it's foreshortening, so I'm drawing cylinders over cylinders and they're getting bigger, like crazy here. And then there's one in the back there getting smaller. It's it's very difficult for me uh, with foreshortening right now. I But the thing is, I can tell what those cylinders are, right? I just can't get proportions right with foreshortening. That's my issue. Uh, this pose was great. Turned out pretty good i mean it wasn't too hard to draw i feel like i got the hips placement wrong because it'd be higher here now that i look at it with a fresh eye yeah easily easily because i i think i remember during the speed run i like moved it over to check if it's right and the hips were just way too low uh the pelvis and stuff like that this one i kind of got i think the chest needs to be lower down it kind of goes through here so if i draw over this kind of starts from here i think even because it's like it's like that you're seeing the top plane of the chest there so yeah that the chest i got wrong everything else though the foreshortening really good really good um this one's probably my best one again I nailed the foreshortening here. I think I just completely nailed this one um, with just how the arms look. 
Like this gesture looks so good. I'm so happy with that. Like it's not it's not showing the fingers fully, but I can tell when uh, I get a line drawn really well and confidently. And then from the start. So this one we did we do that? No, I don't think we did. Uh, it was the whole thing was just a speed run, wasn't it? Speed arm. So yeah, I'm really happy with today's training. We spent a lot of time doing this now like a lot of time and i can feel the improvements already i love it i love it we're gonna keep doing this for maybe another episode or two before we try go back to doing something else but for now if you enjoyed make sure you smash the like button comment down below and subscribe if you're new but apart from that i'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one peace out